Uh, have you heard, have you been listening to about what they've been saying about um, Elden Ring's DLC? There's DLC for Elden Ring? It's going to be coming out. And already people are saying, they're already, they're already predicting that the DLC for Elden Ring will be game of the year worthy. What? <laughs> so you're saying it's going to be like a standalone premium packaged video game? It, it, it's going to be its own great experience. That, that, that's as far as I'm hearing and that the DLC coming out for that game is going to be expanding and its own grand experience of its own. And I am so friggin excited. That's in, that's awesome. Elden that's Ring awesome sucked the life out of me and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> uh, I want more. I want to suffer more. I enjoy it. I, I think it might even win game of the year. It, I, it's definitely a contender for it. And especially like with COVID hitting, people had yeah. battle royales. That's all we had to deal with and to like cope with during all this craziness in the world. And then mm -hmm. here comes Elden Ring, who's yeah. like, hey, buddy, <laughs> put down Breath of the Wild. Get away from Grand, oh. freaking Grand Theft Auto. Get away from Warzone. Warzone. Come to Skyrim. Hey, look at that yeah. giant golden centaur thing. Go talk to it. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. dead on your grave. Build yourself <laughs> up. And it's like, all right, I guess I'm going to... Because I'm sick of games that hold my hand while I'm playing the game. Yeah. Uh, I, did you ever watch that uh, that video that Ego Raptor, Aaron, um, Aaron from Game Grumps? Do you, know, do you know the Game Grumps? I know the Game Grumps, but I'm not too familiar with... the. Uh people in it so work in it so aaron is one of the main game grumps with danny right and before mm -hmm. game grumps he was well i think his handle is still ego raptor on youtube he might have that still but he was just ego raptor and he made videos about uh, uh about video games you know just there was animation he would do and whatever and one of the videos he did was on Mega Man x and why it's the cream of the crop when it comes to video games. It's so perfect and elegant and beautiful. And one of the main points he makes is that this game doesn't hold your hand. You're not no. playing the game and jumping. And all of a sudden here comes Mega Man, Mega Man. Don't forget to press A to jump and do this to slide. No, the game ha and that voice I made is from the video. So the really? like, yeah, that voice, like that's what Aaron does. Like he'll be like, he'll come like roll pops up and she's like, Mega Man, Mega Man. Don't forget to press X. You, you shoot your little buster. You can hold it and you're and like, shut up. Let me put the game. And like that, Mega Man X doesn't do that. Mega Man X is like you're gonna learn through trial and error. Game design is even the old school Mega Man games. They taught you through game design how to figure shit out. You know, mm -hmm. like they were like, we're not gonna write text on the wall and tell you how to do stuff. You're gonna figure it out because a lot of games hold your hand. Sky, I mean, Elden Ring didn't hold your hand. Mm -hmm. Even Elden Ring, uh, not Elden Ring, uh, uh, Elden, um, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim. Elder Scrolls, right. Not going to lie, Skyrim's compared to like Morrowind, Mar mm -hmm. Morrowind, 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 mm -hmm. hold your hand. Oh. El like, if you ever played Elden uh, Elder Scrolls Morrowind? No, I can't say that I have. D bro, this game, you, you want to do a quest? Cool, go ahead. There's no menu to tell you what your next quest is. You better have written that down or remembered it. Oh, you don't know where that is in the map? I hope you have a map on the side because I don't like maybe there's one in the game, but it doesn't hold your hand. Like Sky Damn. Skyrim came about and then you have like clairvoyance, a spell that sh tells you where to go and whatever. I'm, maybe that was in Marwin, but games nowadays hold your hand and they don't like I feel like games don't have uh, they don't have faith in the player anymore that they can overcome hardships mm -hmm. like Elden Ring didn't have a hey do you want to play this game in easy mode medium mm -hmm. mode or hard mode no it was like here's the game go it's gonna yeah. suck but you can do it <laughs> yeah one game that uh that definitely doesn't hold your hand uh, I think last time we kind of talked about the franchise Silent Hill 2 Ooh. that game a masterpiece uh because every time you play it, the puzzles in that game change every time. Wait, so it's what? never, it never, it's never the same, which is crazy to think. Like if you, especially if you put it on hard uh, riddle difficulty, it changes every single time, and you're just like, I can't even go online to like a guide or something to even get the answer because it it's randomized, and you you kind of just have it doesn't even tell you anything. 
What kind of programming is that? <laughs> that it has that kind of like randomized complexity to just mm-hmm. like I don't know. It's like imagine playing like uh, imagine playing uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and every time you go into a, a new dungeon or something, it's a new puzzle. Mm-hmm. Every single yeah. time you go in, it's a new puzzle. So you can't go to like a strategy guide. You can't go online, like you said. Oh, that sounds terribly awful. I love it. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> right? Wait, wasn't uh, Silent Hill the also the same game franchise that had the boss where you had to take out the controller? Was that no? S- that's that's Metal Gear. Metal that's, that's Gear. That's another. That's freaking, another your favorite, huh? That's my favorite franchise of all time. That, I think Metal Gear Solid One did that where. You're fighting Psycho Mantis, and he can actually read your memory card and tell you what game saves you have, which is insane. You're like, oh, so you've been playing Castlevania. And I'm like, (laughs) what the hell? How do you know that? Why don't games do that more? Why don't they utilize that more? That's so smart and creative, dude. It is. And that's Kojima's mindset, you know, Uh, Mm -hmm. Hideo Kojima. Uh, I don't know if any other creator has done something similar to that, that... When I when I was like playing, I'm like, uh, is someone watching me? What the hell is going on? Because I was a little kid playing that. I'm like, damn, okay. And then you had to take out the controller port, put it into the second player to beat him because he read player one's controller <laughs> inputs because you couldn't beat him like that. You had to so. literally take it out of the player one and be like, uh, is this right? Okay, <laughs> click. And And it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you like you have to do that. Again, no one's holding your hand. And you didn't have the internet back then. Maybe if you went to the library, yeah. you know, get some good DSL connectivity. <laughs> yeah. Or like, I think they had like physical strategy guides, oh. you know, back back in the day. I used to buy those, but uh, yeah, now everything's digital. So, And even even nowadays, even if they remade that first Metal Gear, how would mm-hmm. they how would they simulate that boss battle when controllers are wireless now? That's true. Dang. Every, uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. It's wireless, it, so they wouldn't like how would you like how would you have that be like like uh, unless unless they could program that villain to go into your system and turn off your controller <laughs> or have it so it seems that you have drift. Can you imagine that? Oh. Can, can you imagine if it makes it seem that you have drift so you have to use another controller and leave that one on? No, that'd be fucked up because then you have to be expected <laughs> to have two controllers. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. Maybe maybe you would just have to turn it off and if they if the boss can't read it, then you're like, what is going on? I cannot read you. Oh, and then you turn it back on and then like surprise attack. No, actually. Maybe, no, maybe you have to go to the menu, like your PS menu or your PlayStation menu, your Xbox home menu. You have to go to your mm-hmm. home menu, wait there for a few seconds, and then you come back into the game and the villain's like, why am I confused? What was that? And you have to do... <laughs> do you remember... Do you ever watch Yu-Gi-Oh? Yes, of course. Do you remember season one when Yugi, at the end of uh, Dungeon Dungeon King, no, uh, was it Duelist Kingdom, when he mm-hmm. was fighting Pegasus at the end, right? Mm-hmm. And Pegasus was reading his mind, just like this villain. Yugi had to do mind swap with his uh, with Yami, right? So yeah. what if for this boss, you had to go, <laughs> it might be absurd, but it'd be <laughs> fun if they could program this. If to fight the villain and daze the villain to do damage, you had to go to your home screen, back to your home, and then mm-hmm. go back into the game because a lot of games like Xbox has something called um, Quick Start. So right. you can literally have your console turn off, turn it back on, and then turn the and then select the game. Quick Start's activated, and it's like you never left. It's wow. sa- it saved the state. So can you so imagine? It resumes from where you left off. Right where you wow. left off. Un- unless the game has some sort of online connectivity that you need to continuously do, then mm-hmm. it'll stutter. But if you're playing like some single player adventure game. Like I'm playing um, Sonic Frontiers right now. I heard and that's amazing. 